hello and welcome to Golden Fay. We're often asked, what is so different about Golden Fay formulas? Why should I trust your products? Um, there are so many other skincare companies out there. Are they really different? Is it different ingredients or just different packaging and different marketing? So today I wanted to tell you a real story of, uh, of a survivor, a story about our chemist, who is the queen of making amazing lemonade out of a really huge bag of lemons life has handed her. And you will see how her life's journey resulted in a line of products that are really, they stand apart uh, from anything else available on the market today and the reasons behind it. Our story begins almost 30 years ago in 1993. Our chemist, Lana, is the director of division for protection of natural resources at one of the largest chemical plants in Siberia. Lana's passion has always been conservation and protection of nature from human influence. Um, ironically, she is the chemist who is usually against synthetic chemicals in skincare because she knows firsthand how dangerous they can be. One day, Lana was working on an experiment that involved a large amount of sulfuric acid. She was holding a large five gallon bottle of sulfuric acid in her arms and unfortunately it shattered and she was splashed from head to toe, um, suffering a devastating burn uh, to about 40% of her skin, both face and body. One of her co-workers standing behind her, um, she was also affected with a very small amount of sulfuric acid, just a few drops or splashes. Uh, Lana was taken to a local hospital with severe damage and she did not at that time know if she was gonna live or die. And if you remember, a few years ago, there was a number of high profile incidents where people, especially women, in various countries were splashed with sulfuric acid in their faces. And usually that involved like a plastic water bottle that was filled with sulfuric acid. And um, if you have ever seen damage caused by these attacks, it's just absolutely horrific. The skin just melts away and people lose their eyes and their eyelashes and eyebrows and many are so disfigured that they suffer severe psychological um, consequences. Uh, they are often ostracized from their society, they cannot continue their normal lifestyle, and some have been so devastated that they've committed suicide. Um, that's the type of damage that about a cup full of sulfuric acid can cause, and Lana had five gallons poured over her. It's just an enormous amount. It's hard to imagine the pain and fear and devastation that she faced when she was brought to the hospital. And once she told me that at that moment she really didn't care if she was gonna live or die, she was in so much pain. But she's a fighter and after a brief moment of despair, she chose to fight. She remembered that um, her professor warned the students that if they were ever exposed to any kind of an acid burn, they could not lie down. They had to remain vertical and keep moving because um, there's a possibility of lung damage. And so she did, all day and night, for hours in excruciating pain, she just kept pacing the halls of that hospital. But uh, what of her treatment? Um, can anything be done for someone with that much damage? If you know anything about um, Siberia in the 90s, you may know that this was a time of um, deep crisis in the whole country as well as the healthcare industry. The hospitals were facing severe uh, shortage of pretty much everything. There were not enough bandages or gloves, uh, there were no modern medications. And doctors had to tell patients that were coming in for surgery that they would need to provide their own supplies. And these medical supplies were in high deficit and they were sold on the black market for exorbitant sums of money. It was just out of sheer desperation that doctors turned to natural remedies and natural medicinal plants that Siberia is so rich in. When we hear the word Siberia, many people imagine vast wastes uh, covered in snow. Winters are long, cold, and dark, but believe it or not, during the short months of spring, summer, and fall, Siberia is exactly the opposite. It is just teeming with life. Numerous species of animals and plants, and sometimes they're so rare, they cannot be found anywhere else on the planet. Uh, and because of the harsh conditions, the plant world is especially rich in nutrients. And the tradition of medicinal herbs goes back centuries, um, back when shamans of various tribes that um, inhabit Siberia used to treat people's issues using these traditional medicinal recipes. 
and they are passed down from father to son for generations. Um, the tradition of healing is alive and well in Siberia even today. Uh, many people know and regularly use medicinal plants. Uh, they make them into ointments and tinctures and different teas. Uh, and even today, well into the 21st century, any pharmacy in Siberia with, will carry um, both traditional commercially available medications and a large assortment of medicinal plants. And the interesting part is they're usually displayed on the same shelf per condition. And uh, often these things are used as equally important and equally powerful. So given this rich tradition of plant healing, the doctors that uh, treated Lana so for acid burn were very lucky to have so many traditional medicinals um, at their disposal that Siberia has to offer. Lana at that time was uh, treated with a mixture of sea buckthorn oil, which is a very highly regenerative plant, and it remains her favorite ingredient to this day. Then they added the rosehip oil, which is one of the best oils nature has to offer, and then iodine. This mix was tried in different proportions and started um, kind of like a sudden regenerative process that doctors themselves were very surprised and pleased with. Not only was Lana lucky to survive, but she did not develop the deep scar tissue that everybody was, um, everybody thought it was just inevitable because uh, she had such extensive damage. Um, instead, together with a fair amount of scar tissue, she was able to restore some of her actual skin. And after several months in the hospital, she returned to normal life, went back to work and um, continued to treat her skin with the this magic potion of sea buckthorn oil and rosehip oil. And the other young lady who was standing behind Lana and um, who had very little damage, she was splashed with just a few drops of sulfuric acid, unfortunately did not fare so well. Um, somehow she was able to procure conventional medications to treat her burns with, but she could not recover as well or as fast as Lana did. She spent a month longer in the hospital and then she was afflicted with this deep scar tissue that grew all the way to her bone and eventually it cut off um, the circulation to her leg um, completely. Her leg began to kind of dry off. This was the first time Lana realized how much more powerful traditional medicines can be compared to anything humans have created. We simply cannot compete with mother nature's creativity, at least not in skincare. We can only imitate her glory and often with inferior results. Years went on and Lana continued her journey into the world of medicinal plants. She continued to research everything she could get her hands on, um, searching for this miracle formula that would allow her to improve the um, health of her own skin. Um, she also chose to live a happy life. She did not allow this devastating um, accident take away her chance at happiness. She got married and she moved to the United States. Um, she stayed busy, she learned a new culture and a new language, and for a few years she thought that um, she did everything she could for her skin. There was nothing else she really could do or learn, and she was convinced of that. She began to just use regular conventional skincare. Um, she loved the big brands at the shopping centers, uh, the beautiful packaging and the silky formulas. And then years went on and her skin started going through the aging process. All of a sudden, everything kind of changed. You may have heard that scar tissue does not sag. Instead, it shrinks and it becomes tighter. So one side of her face, the scarred side, started shrinking. On the other hand, the undamaged side of her face began sagging with age. Lana was faced with this very serious possibility that her face would become kind of skewed and even crooked. She consulted with numerous plastic surgeons looking for like a facelift, but all of them have refused to operate on her. They said that they could not do anything for the scar tissue side, and they were unwilling to operate on the undamaged half of her face because it's just one half. And um, no one can guarantee results on a half a face. Then she went to try Botox, Restylane, mm -hmm. and pretty much every other available procedure, but they didn't do anything to control the process of skewing. Desperate to stop the time, she went back to the natural medicine else she knew worked for her before, trying to at least stop the shrinking of the scar tissues. And amazingly, her skin responded to the treatment, not only in the scarred areas, but all over. She was surprised to see that just a few months later, she was able not to um, only stop the inevitable aging of the other side of her skin, 
but her skin became firmer, livelier, and the tone improved greatly. She was able to stop the skewing of her face and even partially reverse it. Lana realized that the regenerative qualities of the many oils and plants that she used could benefit not just herself, but everyone who wanted to slow down the aging process. Uh, when you look at her pictures or her videos, you can clearly see that her skin is not perfect. Um, you can tell something happened to her, but unlike many other sulfuric acid burn victims, she is able to use makeup to cover up most of the affected areas and just go on living her regular life looking perfectly normal. So then she decided there was time to take up her research into medicinal plants again. Now with the power of the internet at her fingertips, she was not limited to only Siberian plants. The whole world was open to her and she found massive amounts of amazing research into different plants and oils and especially uh, their ability to restore the skin on a deeper level. One of the breakthroughs that she was able to find was a way to allow for the larger oil molecules to penetrate deep into the derma. This changed everything. She started making her formulas more powerful with the plants from all over the world, making sure that they were compatible with each other and increased each other's potency. And then she was also able to make her formulas penetrate deep into the derma instead of just sitting on top on the upper layers of the epidermis. So in essence, she was able to create an amazing line of skincare products that she herself developed for herself. Life has been so unfair to her. Lana was handed a huge bag of sour lemons, but being the fighter and the scientist that she is, she was able to make it into an amazing lemonade for all of us. We're all beneficiaries of her fight for life and beauty and happiness. Years of research into skin, skin processes, and how various plants can affect them have allowed her to understand the inner workings of the human body like no one else. She really had to do it to survive. And then we found a golden face shortly after in 2013. Uh, gold is the color of many of the oils that we use, and fe is short for epophy, which is Latin for sebacthorn oil. Lana believes in it so strongly that she uses it in every single product that she creates. It's truly a treasure nature has bestowed upon us. I hope this information will help you understand how golden fey formulas are so different from everything else out there. They truly are a product of one person's fight for life, um, health, and beauty. All the best ingredients and most powerful oils are used in Lana's formulas. She used only the best for her own skin, and these are the very same um, formulas that we now made available for Golden Fay. You will be using the skincare products that contain only the best tested and trusted ingredients that we ourselves use. I hope that your skin loves them. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.